My name is Dan Schechtman. I am a distinguished professor of the Technion in Haifa, Israel, and I also have a position at Iowa State University in Ames, Iowa. And I'm here to present a plenary talk on the discovery of quasi-periodic materials and uh, their properties and uh, applications. Sensor crystallography really started in 1912. I mention it because it's exactly 100 years ago. And it started by an experiment by von Laue, who uh, performed the first X-ray diffraction experiment. And um, von Laue proved in one wonderful experiment that X-rays have wavy nature and that crystals are indeed ordered as people thought before. And the crystals that von Laue studied were also periodic, not only ordered, but also periodic. And all the crystals that were studied for 70 years, from 1912 to 1982, were all ordered and periodic. Thousands upon thousands of crystals were studied by eminent X-ray crystallographers, and all of them were ordered and periodic. And in 1982, I have discovered a series of crystals which were ordered, but not periodic. They were quasi-periodic. And this created a paradigm shift in our understanding of the nature of the structure of matter. The Nobel Prize was given to me a year ago, just about a year ago. And uh, it was given to me as a spearhead of the science of quasi-periodic materials, but it really was given to the whole community in appreciation for this wonderful, very interesting and, uh, and intriguing science. It's a, it's a difficult issue and we still study and discover uh, the uh, new uh, materials with this structure, new properties and possibly new applications. So the Nobel Prize is really the utmost appreciation of a science. It's given always to the leader of the science but really it's given to a community. Today I will uh, tell the story of uh, the discovery I will tell the story of the rejection of uh, part of the community to the discovery. People did not believe in it. People claimed that uh, my work was not good and the work of my colleagues that followed me was not good. It was not good science. In fact, one of them said, there are no quasi-crystals, just quasi-scientists. Well, he was wrong. <laughs> the MRS is a leading community of scientists around the world. Uh, it includes a huge amount, huge number of experts uh, in very different countries. So it's a very powerful community. And uh, when they come here uh, to share experiences, to share discoveries, to share uh, their science, and we talk to each other, it's wonderful.